Uh, always um, uh, a pleasure to uh, welcome you to uh, to Athens, uh, dear Vera, and you did coming uh, at a time of uh, significant uh, geopolitical uh, turbulence uh, in uh, the neighborhood. Let me repeat, uh, you know, how strongly we condemn the attacks launched by Iran against Israel, and uh, any uh, escalation right now would be a significant threat to regional uh, stability and security. And we continue to stand by Israel, but at the same time, we urge uh, all sides to, to show the necessary restraint to avoid uh, what could be a very, very dangerous uh, further escalation. Now, coming to, um, uh, to our uh, topics, uh, we are uh, just uh, less than two months before the European elections, and I would like to, to thank you for the commitment you have shown towards highlighting the importance of protecting uh, the integrity of the electoral progress. Remember, we were together also at the Munich Security Conference um, uh, highlighting uh, the need uh, for increased vigilance um, uh, in a time when uh, many um, uh, actors uh, with malign interests would uh, like to uh, interfere in our uh, electoral process. This is an issue I've also raised at the level of the European Council, and uh, I do hope that in the conclusions of the next Council we will at least have a reference um, uh, to the danger um, posed by uh, misinformation, and in particular the emerging danger of, um, of deep fakes. And thank you very much for the work you're also doing in that. Uh, direction and of course as you know regarding issues of rule of law uh, we continue to have an excellent um, uh, cooperation I think significant progress has been made which is also recognized by the Commission we always take the recommendations uh, um, uh, in the annual rule of law report very very seriously and uh, we try to comply um, uh, to to the best of our uh, ability but uh, I'm, I'm happy about the progress that we uh, have made, and our teams are uh, always uh, at your disposal to look into the details of the issues that you have raised uh, uh, and to make sure that we respond to the best of our ability. So again, thank you so much and welcome to once more to Athens. Thank you. Thank you very much, Prime Minister. Also on behalf of my team, uh, it's a great pleasure and honor to be invited back here to uh, your place, uh, I wanted to start by congratulating you for decisive victory in the elections, uh, which enables me to continue our dialogue uh, today. And also thank you for your engagement in the Munich Accord uh, against uh, the, the, the deep fakes being used in the political campaigns. I think it was a good moment we had in Munich with the, with the big tech because uh, their approach, uh, we cannot help it, is quite key and has an influence on whether we will see free and fair elections and, and um, the campaign which will enable the people to cast their autonomous vote or whether we will have uh, the campaign full of hidden manipulations. Mm -hmm. Of course, we wish the first thing. And uh, uh, I also address the European political parties to refrain from using of the, of the deep fakes. Uh, indeed, last time we had a very good debate. We also continue a very, very good and fruitful debate with uh, your ministers uh, on the topics of the rule of law. Uh, you mentioned the, the rule of law report. We are now preparing the edition to be published at the beginning of July. And I want to command for uh, on uh, very good cooperation we have with the, with the Greek authorities. Uh, you know that all four topics which we cover in the rule of law uh, uh, report are key for our, our democratic systems, be it justice and prosecution, be it the legislative process, uh, be it uh, the situation of media, anti-corruption fight and, and overall checks and balances. This is, this is a very important uh, set of, of factors uh, or fields which uh, uh, we would like to see well functioning in all the member states. And as you know, the rule of law report is a common work. It's not unilateral 
Brussels assessment. It's uh, something we do together. So once again, thank, thank you very much also for uh, undertaking steps to follow the recommendations, the reforms ongoing in the justice field and anti-corruption. I will today speak uh, to your media task force uh, to understand what has been done to protect the journalists better. I will have a chance to discuss uh, how best the new rules uh, to, uh, for protecting media will be implemented in Greece. And I will also speak to the um, authorities and entities uh, playing the role of enforcement of the Digital Services Act, future enforcement of the Media Freedom Act, who are doing the, the work against the foreign propaganda might be Russian, but also there are other actors who try to influence our information space. So I will have a long and fruitful day, I hope, I'm sure, in Greece, in Athens today. And uh, the result uh, will be uh, uh, very important for me to understand uh, the preparedness of, of Greece for, for the upcoming European elections. Uh, of course, we discuss uh, during my democracy tour in the member states uh, about the European elections, but it's important to fortify the system for any elections. Uh, and I will add that uh, we are fully aware that the organization of elections are fully the competence of, of the member states. Uh, I am coming to the member states with the offer in case there is some difficulty in communication with the big tech companies. Uh, I can help, I can bridge the communication, I can be the messenger, uh, because uh, what I hear from the platforms uh, is uh, that they sometimes do not understand the sensitivities uh, which might influence, or f fill in the information space in each state. Uh, there is uh, uh, the answer they give us always when I'm criticizing them that they are not doing the proper moderation of the content in all the 24 member states languages. And here comes always the answer. We would like to have some closer contact with, with the uh, entities, with the individuals, with the people in each member state who could help us to differentiate what is this information, what is just hate speech, uh, and uh, to do the content moderation in the proper way. Uh, I don't have to mention that for the Commission it's always important that the content moderation does not kill the freedom of speech. So we only focus on the illegal content, uh, content child pornography, hate speech, terrorism, and in case of disinformation we always focus Oh, we want them to focus on the disinformation which has the potential to endanger security or some other uh, uh, public interest. So this, this is the minimum we, we should uh, uh, insist they, they should be doing under the Digital Services Act. I already mentioned uh, the AI and uh, the need to uh, prepare for bigger impact of artificial intelligence on every sphere of our lives. And here, I think that we have also a good, uh, good space for, for uh, cooperation. Uh, last time we discussed about the usage of spyware, which is becoming an issue in many member states. And I promise to you two things, uh, that uh, we will uh, uh, cover spyware usage in, in the member states in our rule of law report, so that you have better picture of how big the problem is. And the second thing that we will issue a, a legal opinion on the usage of spyware from the side of the public authorities, but also private uh, entities. And this is in the making. I am uh, still ready to, to issue the, the paper during this mandate. Uh, I don't have much time, by the way. <laughs> today, today I am taking over the portfolio of Mr. Reinders. So uh, it will be my, my main responsibility to finalize the process. Mm -hmm. I, I remember I promised to you, but not only to you, but, but uh, several other prime ministers that we will uh, provide uh, 
the, uh, the legal assessment and uh, also uh, responding to the European Court of Justice case law to clarify fully what are the legal conditions for any usage of, of the spywares. Uh, uh, last comment or more uh, more the question uh, or plea uh, we still have in the process the defense of democracy package which uh, plans or which suggests to create the public uh, register of the contracts which the entities operating on European market have with the third country governments the contracts which uh, uh, invite those entities on the, on the single market to do some kind of lobbying or influencing of the public opinion and, and political decision making. This uh, directive is now in the legislative process. The Belgian presidency promised or promised, indicated that they might still uh, uh, achieve the general approach in June. And I wanted to ask for the support of, of this legislation because uh, we believe that we should know more about such contracts, about such contacts, about such foreign uh, influence on our, our decision making, especially after the revelations of uh, the cases of the European politicians being, being allegedly paid by the Russians which was disclosed two weeks ago uh, by the Czech and Polish secret services. I think that it's time to ask for more information about these kind of, uh, of contracts and efforts from the third countries. So this was the plea from my side. Uh, uh, once again, thank you very much for very good cooperation in all different fields, especially the rule of law field and uh, I just want to express the wish to continue uh, in the future, maybe during the next mandate, whoever will be doing this portfolio. <laughs> Thank you.